Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. Today I have a really cute little hello card for you. Snail mail. Everybody needs a little love these days. And wouldn't that make you happy if that showed up in your mailbox? Anyways, we are featuring this snail mail suite. Let's start with our snail mail designer series paper here. <laughs> Isn't this so cute? We're going to cut out our little, my friend Rhonda calls that the walrus snail. Isn't he so cute? Now, I'm gonna grab a pair of scissors and I'm just gonna cut that guy out. He's one of the few little snails in this designer series paper that does not have a die. Um, the little snail with the package on her back, the little gifty snail, that one, you can cut out with the die. But I really liked this little guy. So I'm gonna go ahead and just trim him out. And while I trim him out, we'll talk about the snail mail sweet there is a rubber stamp set dies designer series paper the awesome pink twine that we're going to use today it's a fantastic uh suite of products and for card makers i think it's a must have everybody should send snail mail cards every card maker should send snail mail cards we've got to save the snail mail because snail mail is fun to make all right, so I'm just giving him a quick trim out when I cut. I move the paper, not the scissors, so your non-dominant hand drives. It's kind of weird when cutting that um, your dominant hand just opens and closes the scissor while your non-dominant hand drives the paper. And you're just going to leave a little white border as you cut. There's no prize for cutting him out all in one piece. So when I come back around here, I'll go up the side of the envelope and then cut off the excess. We don't need that. Pretty quick and simple. There's some things that'll make your cut, fussy cutting better, like supporting your scissors. I always put my thumb in the top ring and my ring finger or middle finger in the bottom ring so that your index finger can support the scissors. So cute. And then I want this little letter for an accent piece. So I'm going to give that a cut too. So cute. Now, next step, I am going to take a piece of uh, Blushing Bride cardstock. This is four and a quarter by five and a half. So it's a standard card size, but no fold. Let's emboss that. We're going to do brick and mortar. Look at that cool embossing. Oh, there's my measurements. Cheat sheet. Isn't that a fun folder? Let's go ahead and crank that. Pop that right in my folder. It's got a strong vertical horizontal pattern, so I'm just making sure that I get that in a place where I like the start, the stop, and that it doesn't go uphill or downhill now. Pop it in my stamp and cut and emboss machine. I've got number one here, then my folder, and then number four. That's how you'll do these 3D folders. Roll it through. That's smooth. Wait till you see our cardstock has an awesome brick texture. I love how some of these bricks stick out a little bit further. They're a deeper impression than others. Isn't that a cool folder? All right, the base of this card is three and a half by nine and a half. Let's grab our Simply Scored and score it. We're gonna pop this in on the nine and a half inch side, give it a score at four and three quarters. And then we need a bone folder. Ah, it's a dry day, see? I always fold inside out first. Do you see how there's a little stress on the fold there? Cracked a little. When I fold that back to the right side out, it's nice and smooth. So that's why I fold both ways. Everybody always asks. Now, assembling our card base. I got multi-purpose liquid glue. And some more of this awesome snail mail designer series paper. We're going to use these little speech bubbles. On the back is pink with little multicolored mushrooms. Isn't that crazy? Could totally use that. Probably be very cute. All right. 
we're gonna glue that centered on our real red card adorable and then we can glue our card to our base not only do i think that the real red is kind of dark to write your message on but i also think every little detail counts so we're going to add our stitched scalloped rectangle i cut this one from basic white using the largest die from stitch so sweetly and we're gonna pop that little guy right in the card now we've got a really sweet place to write our little greeting and there it is adorables now back to our snail mail suite i've got the snail mail combo twine here i'm gonna bring out the blushing bride and we're gonna wrap this three times and tie a cute bow Such a cutie. I love that Stampin' Up! brought back twine. We didn't have it for almost a whole year, I think. Isn't that a cute little detail? And it won't add any bulk or raise your postage, at least not in the U.S. All right, we're moving along. I've got a little die cut piece here for you. I did this one ahead. This is the largest, I use this a lot for a little accent layer, the largest primitive heart from the stitched Be Mine dies. Did that with Bermuda Bay. When I laid it on the card, I thought, oh, that's kind of cool. Then said, it needs a little texture. So we're going to do a background stamp on this. We're going to use the Buffalo Check background from Stampin' Up! It's a cling mount rubber, but I always just use it face up on the tabletop. I find I get my best impressions that way. Cardstock is Bermuda Bay. We're going to use Bermuda Bay ink to give us kind of a tone on tone look. And you don't have to ink the whole stamp, just down the center, ink it well. Then what I like to do is lay my piece on top, whether it's a card base, or in this case, we've got this great little heart die cut. I'll just lay that right on top of there and then bring in a piece of scratch paper. I use my little mini grid paper or my big grid paper or sometimes I break into my stash of foam books. It's like an antique, isn't it? Relic from the past. Then you just burnish Rub your fingers over that until you're sure you're covered the whole cutout. There's our buffalo check heart. Just a little tone-on-tone -tone color there. While we're inking, let's stamp. I'm going to do real red. We're going to do that little speech bubble. We're getting our snail mail sweet stamp set. This is called Snail Bit. And this is the snail dies. You can buy the snail dip bundle, which includes the eight piece cling mount stamp set and the dies together from Stampin' Up. And when you purchase them together, you get 10% discount. We're gonna make this fun little envelope. Do you see this little cutie? That's the envelope die. We also need one of the little hearts and the speech bubble. Get those guys out and ready. Let's get stamping. Got scraps here. Real red, whisper white, or basic white, whichever you're using now. I'm gonna ink up my little speech bubble stamp. And the word hello from Nailed It fits right in there and coordinates with that designer series paper. Isn't that adorable? And then we'll do real red on real red little heart to seal our envelope. Clear away the ink and let's get the mini stamping cotton emboss machine. 
We'll cut these guys out. I love this little machine. It's little, but it's mighty. We're gonna do our speech bubble and our heart at the same time. Like a little bit of low tack tape to hold the, my dies in place. It's like having an extra hand. And away we go. And there's your little die cut pieces. Now we need an envelope. I'm going to pop a piece of white scrap. Put my little envelope on top of there. Let's give that one a crank. You'll notice that everything you do with a mini Stampin' Cotton Emboss is two-handed. It's really important that you hold down the machine when you crank it and you engage the handle before you begin to crank. There's our little envelope. How cute is that? This little snail mail card is super cute, super quick. Let's get ours assembled. I'm going to start with my heart. I'm going to adhere that. Be careful, the very edge goes past your real red card base. You don't want to glue your card closed. Little heart. And let's assemble our envelope now. I'm going to grab that bone folder again and do the same thing. I'm going to fold it inside out and then right side in. All right, I've got it right side in now. And to assemble it, I'm going to put liquid glue inside. Bring in the tabs and then the bottom tab up. A little more li liquid glue here. And I'm going to bring this top tab over. Then, add a mini glue dot. I'm going to put the little mini glue dot right on the fold there. Add my heart to seal. There's my little envelope. Let's get that guy glued on the card front. You can go past the edge of the red card base, but not past the edge of the pink and watch your glue. All of these pieces need Stampin' Dimensionals. I'm going to get some mini Stampin' Dimensionals and put them on the back of everything. All right, dimensionals are all sticky. Let's add our snail. Isn't he just so cute? Oh my goodness, he's bringing all the love, isn't he? And the hello. I want to tip him for just a little bit. I never burnish anything down really tight until I'm completely satisfied. I want to make sure I preserve the shape of that heart. So I'm adjusting my snail so he looks like he's speaking. And then the cute little letter. Oh my goodness. Just love this card. What do you guys think? If you got any questions about the project, email marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. And to shop Stampin' Up! 24-7, buzz over to marissaalvarez.stampinup.net. Thanks for watching.